With today's modern browsers, you can now run alternatives to PC software within your web browser. No longer do you need to download software to your computer that uses up hard drive space to perform every task. And because they're web-based, these useful alternatives will work on just about every operating system, including Windows, Mac, Linux, and Chrome OS for those of you that have Chromebooks. So today, I will show you 10 powerful websites that do an amazing job of replacing your desktop software and we're getting started right now. Number one, Online Convert. This is a free online file converter that can easily convert just about any media file that you have on your computer. As you can see, it works with audio, video, images, documents, and others. I'll show you how it works. I have an AVI video file that I want to convert to an MP4. So under Video Converter, select Target Format, Convert to MP4. You have a couple options here. You can either browse your computer for the file or enter the URL of a website. By the way, this does not work with the YouTube website. I'll select Browse, select the file. If you want to change any of the characteristics of the file, you can do so here. This is completely optional. When you're ready, select Convert File. When the file has finished uploading and converting, you have the option to save the file anywhere you would like on your computer. So the next time you need to convert a file, check out Online Convert. Number two, Wii Video. If you're looking for a web-based video editor, Wii Video is a solid choice. It's easy to use, and supports up to 600 formats of audio, video, and images. Once you've signed in, to start a project, select Dashboard, then Create New. To import your media files, select Import Media, and you can drag and drop the media right in here. They start you out with three timelines, two for video and one for audio. To move a media file to your timeline, you just simply grab it, left click on it, and drag it down to the timeline. If you're interested in a full tutorial for Wii Video, they do have tutorials on their site to get you more familiar with using it. The free version has limitations. For more options, including better video resolution, they do offer paid plans as well. One cool feature with all of the plans is you can pause a project and resume it elsewhere, including on their iOS and Android app. Number three, Google Play Music. This is a music service that I'm surprised is not more popular. With Google Play Music, you can upload up to 50,000 songs from your computer into the cloud and listen to your music anywhere, including your web browser. This eliminates your need to download a separate media player just to listen to your music. Best of all, it is completely free of charge. They do offer a paid streaming service like Spotify or Apple Music, but it's not needed to upload your music to listen anywhere with Google Play Music. To get started, you'll need to go to the Settings menu in the upper left-hand corner. From the list, select Upload Music, then download the Music Manager to be able to add your music to the cloud. Once installed, run the program and follow the on-screen instructions to add your music. Number four, Prezi. If you're looking for a new presentation software that is better than PowerPoint, check out Prezi. No slides are used. Instead, you work with one large canvas, which allows you to pan and zoom along the canvas. First, you create your presentation with a large library of templates to suit your needs. Then, you show your audience the presentation you made without flipping through slides. Prezi has a few payment options with different features, including a free option to the far right so you can try it out. There is a slight learning curve to using Prezi. Thankfully, they have an extensive knowledge base to get you started. So if you're still using PowerPoint or something similar and you're ready to up your game, give Prezi a try. Number five, Mint. This is a great site to use that offers personal finance tools without the need to install resource hogging software. Mint is free to use and owned by Intuit the same company that owns TurboTax. 
Mint is great for syncing with all of your bank accounts to help you budget better and keep track of your spending. You can also track your investments and check your credit score too. There is not much I can show you about this site without giving away my financial information, and that's not gonna happen. So let's move on to the next site. Number six, Virus Total. This is a free online site that allows you to scan files and URLs to detect viruses, trojans, worms, and other types of malicious content. Virus Total is a subsidiary of Google. It uses dozens of antivirus engines and website scanners, including those from security firms like Trend Micro, Kaspersky, Symantec, and Sophos. Here's how it works. You choose a file, then you select Scan It. This one has a detection ratio of zero, so it looks like this one is good. Also, you can enter the URL of the website. First, you gotta select URL here, then enter in the website. Then select Scan It. And that one looks good as well. In addition to your normal scanning software or to detect false positives, VirusTotal is a great site to check out to verify the file or website is malicious. Number seven, Pixlr Editor. Some of you have seen me talk about Pixlr before in previous videos. They offer a few web apps, including Pixlr Express, which quickly lets you edit any of your photos, Pixlr Omatic, which lets you add retro effects to your photos, and Pixlr Editor, which is a powerful web app that gives you some of the same editing capabilities as Photoshop or GIMP. It comes with a wide array of tools and even allows layers. When you open the web app for Pixlr Editor, you have the option to create a new image, open an image from your PC, open an image from a website, or even open an image from their library. Pixlr Editor is free, and it is advised to watch tutorials when you first get started. Number eight, Google Drive Suite. This Office Suite from Google offers free alternatives to Microsoft Office. These alternatives are not as fully featured but will be enough for the average user, and the collaboration features are really good. Google's alternative to Microsoft Word is Google Docs. For Excel, they call it Google Sheets. And for PowerPoint, theirs is called Google Slides. If you're looking for a free alternative to Microsoft Office, the Google Drive Office Suite just may be what you're looking for. Number nine, Silex. This is a free and open source website builder you can actually create websites directly in the browser without having to write any code. Although you don't have to write any code, it is best to check out some tutorials to get familiar with it. It also allows for collaboration by using the sharing capabilities within Dropbox. Free Creative Commons templates are available on GitHub and paid templates are available on Templomatic. When you launch the web app, you are presented with blank layouts or you can choose from the community templates to get started. So if you don't know how to write code and you want to create a website without any constraints, check out Silex. Number 10, LastPass. In this day and age, where it's extremely important to have strong passwords for the sites you visit, a password manager like LastPass can help you with the process. LastPass manages all of your various logins it can even create strong randomized passwords for the sites you visit. Your passwords are stored in the cloud, encrypted by a master password that only you know. LastPass is free to use on all of your devices, including your PC. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. Let me know in the comments of a powerful website you think would be a good replacement of PC software. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to click that subscribe button for more from the world of technology from Tech Gumbo.